Welcome. In this video, we are going to show you a sneak peek of Grail 2.0. Let's start by taking a look at the project organization. As you can see here, we are uh, on the PCL folder, this one. And uh, we have some standard organization for the folders. So we have helpers, models, themes, view models, and views. Now, even while Grial doesn't come with a, a specific MVVM uh, framework, it sticks to this pattern. Okay, so you have a clean separation uh, among the UI uh, and data. Okay, so I'm going to show you the different views those are organized uh, following the convention of the sections that we have here on the working application. This is a real full sample, okay? And as you can see, we have, let's see, for instance, the social category here, which is this one, okay? And part of the convention is that each item here on these categories inside the views each one which is a page will be adding this page suffix all right and then any of these pages could use uh, the templates inside them so for this particular case we are um, on the social let's go to the social okay and uh, let's check the document timeline all right so social we have the document document timeline page, okay? And as you can see here, we have a very clean separation, a very well organized code for the XAML. We believe that the UI should be described in XAML. Um, this is uh, our main focus here. So, as you can see, uh, we have resource dictionaries here containing the different templates. Okay, and then we use a list view, which is the one that contains all the items here, all right? And we have uh, templates, okay, using through the selector. And as you can see here, we have different templates, one for the left and one for the right side, okay? So the convention is that you go to the templates and you find it uh, with the name. So document timeline page, you have document timeline left item template and document timeline right item template. Very easy. Alright? As, as you go deeper on the code, you will notice that we have a lot of resources. Okay? That's part of our theming architecture. Okay? This uh, is a very clean, also an organized way, you know, to handle all the, the look and feel of your application. So we can change the, the, the values here and those will have a great impact on the UI. So it, this is very intuitive and our theme is made with a top-down approach. So uh, it is meant to be very easy to, to manage um, if you make changes on the top okay so here we have the real light theme so you go to the themes folder and you will see the colors that are being used for this theme and if you change the colors okay that will change uh, the, the the look and feel very easy okay so Let's continue by showing uh, something very interesting that we also provide, which are the icons. Our icons come from fonts. So we have created our own font. That means that all our icons are made uh, through vectors. So you don't have to worry about different resolutions and it's very easy to change them through styles you know changing the color the size 
uh, even you can rotate them, whatever. Uh, the thing is that they will be very uh, sharp and you won't have to create several versions of the same icon to make them look well on the different resolutions.